Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop. So today, going to be kind of a tutorial and also a little bit of work on the Mustang. Um, I'm going to kind of show you how I lay out frames, um, get them ready for actually building them, um, the marks that you'll need to make sure everything lines up with your body, you know, wheels, make sure they line up right everything like that so first thing i like to start with is some graph paper um it helps to keep everything square sitting right everything like that um the next thing you're going to need is the actual floor pan or as you guys know in the case of the Oldsmobile, the actual frame rails so we're going to start since we don't have an actual frame since this Mustang is a unibody. So first thing I'm going to do is we're just going to line up. Um, I'm going to line up this line right here. So I know this mark is always that rear wheel well. So we'll just make a mark there. And the first thing I'm going to do is completely trace all the way around this. So we'll trace this side, just keeping firm pressure. We'll need this mark here. And then we'll move up here. If it moves on you a little bit, don't be too concerned. Okay, so now we have the outline of it. So the next thing we need is we need this cross member. Because this cross member is what the motor sits on. And we need the inside of this frame rail. I'm not going to worry about the tunnel, anything like that. Um, we know the wheel wells, we know the front suspension where it's supposed to be located in the car. We know roughly where cross member and motor mounts should be. So, you can see, kind of gives you a rough outline. Um, we know these two are frame rails, and then we need to figure out how to get the rear frame rails so they run down the length of the car. Um, easiest way for at least on this model um, since you can see here the frame rails are pretty straight from here to here they're a little offset but building a custom frame I'm gonna want them straight on so we can take this line I'm gonna redo this line so it's nice and straight Away from the front. All the way to the back of the car. So we'll do the same here. So we'll take this frame rail line. From the front. To the rear. And then we know we can eyeball this. So 
So there's one side of the frame rail. And the other side of the frame rails. So we know those are the frame rails. Um, we know the outside of the the pan that should be really close to the body. So when we make a custom pan, um, we also know where the motor mounts are. So if we take this. Line this back here. We know where suspension points are. So the easiest way, let me grab this out. What we're going to do, please ignore my dogs. So, we need to figure out where our axles sit. So, if we line up this trans mount, because we know we have a really close match. So, it looks like we're on that plane and that plane. Or that line. So that is where our front suspension will sit. Um, we'll grab the rear suspension. See if we can get it where it's supposed to go. All the way back here. Let's grab. So we have, we'll line up our cross member again. It looks like I'm actually off. We're over here. All right, and then we'll grab our rears. So I'm about halfway down that line. You guys can see and this line is actually off. So we can fix that too. No, we're right. As you can see, my front suspension fell off, so that line is correct. So we'll grab our square again. And we can line up where our rear axle goes. We can extend these out. So now we know roughly where all that sits. So the next thing we can do is usually we can grab, I'll just use the Oldsmobile because I don't know where the Mustang body is. Sorry. Um, usually the next thing I like to do is get the width of the body. I don't have the Mustang, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, I don't know where it is. So what we'll do is I'm kind of looking down here to make sure I'm, I'm centered. Um, if I had the Mustang, I would put the chassis in it, line up all our marks, and then we can find out where our tires are going to land on the outside of the body. So we would make a mark, that's where our tires are gonna be. Um, so, kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, I did this same exact setup for the Oldsmobile that I'm working on. So we'll take a look at it. I got a little wet, sorry. So right here is my axle. Right here is my frame rails. And this is actually the width of my body for the Oldsmobile. So as you guys can see, that's the width of my body. So I know 
the tires, the outside of the tire needs to line up right there. So that's what this reference on the Mustangs would be, is that line would be the Mustangs with the body. It's pretty close to the pan, so I know my tires are going to be there. So when I use the tires, these are the tires for the Mustang. Um, now I know how much of my suspension I've got to build. Um, when it comes to the control arms, I know the width, everything like that. So that's the easy part. Um, getting your drawing, getting everything ready so when you actually start with your frame rails you can get stuff kind of mocked up um, also while you're here you can kind of draw your frame out how you want it to lay out or if you have some really good reference pictures um, that would work out too so so that's how I start my frames. Um, next episode, we'll actually get into building the frame for the Mustang and show you kind of step by step on how I do that. So, but until next guy time, guys, this is Dragon Speed Shop. I'm out of here. Enjoy.